Welcome to Bilmer Blocks. Today we will take uh, a small block uh, on Yorksack. What to see in Yorksack? How to scan a Yorksack? How important this Yorksack is in early pregnancy? So today's block is about Yorksack in early pregnancy. So we are starting on uh, the board first. We will show you some important points on board first. So, this is the uterus with a gestational sac in it. This is the gestational sac over here. Now in this gestational sac, we are having amnion. So this is the amniotic cavity. Now, where is the yolk sac? So before yolk sac, where is the fetal pole first? Fetal pole is in the amniotic cavity over here. So this is the fetal pole over here. This is the fetus over here. And this yolk sac is not in amniotic cavity. Make a note. This is not in amniotic cavity. This is outside. This is extra amniotic structure. Now you might be thinking why they are, uh, how they are connected. They are connected, you know it better via the vitelline duct with the fetus. So make a note over here that this uh, yolk sac is extra amniotic structure and it is connected via vitelline duct. Now, now I have to see this yolk sac and I am seeing this yolk sac on ultrasound Whatever yolk sac uh, is seen is the secondary yolk sac, primary yolk sac is not uh, seen on ultrasound. Now, how much is the diameter? I have to see first the diameter. So the first point is the diameter. Diameter of the yolk sac. The diameter of the yolk sac should not be less than two and it should not be greater than six. So first point is that the diameter, it should be in between two to six millimeters. Make a note that neither less than two will be accepted nor more than six is uh, accepted. Now about the shape, it should be round, round and round only. So second point is that it should be a round. No oval, no distorted uh, shape is accepted, only a round shape. Now, the structure itself should be jet black and echoic, jet black. It should be an echoic, an echoic. And there should be no calcification from the wall. There should be no calcification. So no to calcification, no calcification is the fourth point. And uh, if I will be putting at Doppler, there should be no congestion uh, in this uh, mm, uh, yolk sac. So these are the important points uh, in uh, uh, scanning uh, while we are scanning the yolk sac. Now, why this yolk sac is important? Because if I am dealing with a calcified yolk sac, there are high risks that this is an, uh, a dead fetus already. And if it is live fetus, then this fetus is at risk. And if the yolk sac is less than two, then of course, I may be dealing with a dead fetus or if I am seeing the fetal pulsations over there, there are high chances that this fetus uh, uh, will uh, no more show me the fetal pulsations after maybe two or three days. So the point is that I have to keep an eye on that fetus in which the yolk sac is abnormal. So what is abnormal? Less than two, greater than six. Don't get happy with a big yolk sac. Don't think that uh, this pregnancy will land in a healthy one. No, that is also abnormal. So not more than six and not less than uh, two millimeters is the normal cut. And as already said that uh, the shape, the shape has to be round, round and round only. Uh, now, what we will do, we will show you some uh, important points uh, of this, uh, uh, these pictures uh, and we will see how this yolk sac is looking on ultrasound. Now, we will show you some live cases. These are, of course, recorded sessions already. Uh, now, this yolk sac, what I have to see as already 
said that I have to see for the diameter and I have to see for the calcification. And first I have to see for the presence, whether this is present or absent. Now over here in this fetus, what I am missing is the fetal cardiac activity. For example, I am confused whether the cardiac activities are there. Maybe that there are some muffled fetal heart over there. Or maybe that uh, uh, I'm dealing with the, uh, these transmitted pulsations, the metal and transmitted pulsations. Then how to confirm that this is dead fetus and whatever in inverted commas, the fetal pulsations are there are actually the transmitted pulsations from the metal and vessels. Go to the yolk sac. Now see, I am giving you only one important point over here. Go to the yolk sac and ask the yolk sac. Hello, I'm a doctor scanning. How are you? And maybe that yolk sac is not there. And if yolk sac is not there, then that is also giving you a clue that you are dealing with a dead Yes. And now if yolk sac is there, is there, and yolk sac is calcified. It means that I am dealing with an abnormal yolk sac, again going in favor of a abnormal pregnancy and whatever uh, I was missing, that is the fetal heart. Uh, I am confirming that I am on right track. Yes, it's already here. Now pay attention in this case, this is a transabdominal scan. This is not a T scan, this is the transabdominal scan. So this is the fetal heart over, uh, sorry, fetal pole over here. So I am not able to see the fetal pulsations over here. So what I can do, what I have to see, I have to see for the yolk sac over there. And now see in this plane, I am not getting the yolk sac. I'm searching, I'm searching for the yolk sac. I'm searching for the yolk sac. And if I will not get any yolk sac, then it means that I am dealing with a dead fetus already. And if I am seeing a yolk sac and that yolk sac is calcified, again going in favor of a uh, abnormal pregnancy. So this is the importance of scanning the yolk sac. Now see over here, what I am seeing over here is a very dense calcified yolk sac over here, very dense calcified yolk sac. Now see, this is the yolk sac only. This is very much calcified. And due to this calcified yolk sac, I am not uh, able to see the fetal pulsation. So I can say that it is due to the calcified yolk sac that this is a missed fetus. Uh, sorry, uh, this, uh, yes, missed uh, abortion. And this is a dead fetus already. Now you may think that this is not a yolk sac because this is not looking at all uh, like a yolk sac, whatever you are expecting the yolk sac to be. So I have to see for the connection. That is the important point. I have to see for the connection. And what is the connection? The vitiline duct. And if I got the vitiline duct, then this structure, whatever is there, a yolk sac and that to a calcified yolk sac. So again, repeating, this is a transabdominal scan. Now see, I am now seeing the uh, vitiline duct over here. Now see, I see the vitiline duct confirming that the above structure is yolk sac. Now see, the vitiline duct is coming over here. So it is confirming that I am scanning the yolk uh, sac already. So this is the important uh, point uh, that you should not see any uh, calcification. In the yolk sac, you should not be missing a yolk sac. You should not be having a small yolk sac. You should not be having a very big yolk sac. So these are the important points uh, for this yolk sac. So this is the yolk sac over here. Uh, now I am even seeing the vitiline duct over here. So this is the normal yolk sac. When I am measuring this yolk sac, this is not less than two. This is not more than. Uh, six millimeters and I'm not seeing a calcified yolk sac over here. This is normal. This is normal uh, yolk sac over there. So if I am having more clips over here, I will show you more of the clips. So this was all about today's block. So make a note that you have and have to see for the yolk sac in case of early pregnancy scan. Thank you very much.